Okay guys, so I just did a trip of Ganos like I was planning on, and I am now 7.9k away from 99 magic, so gonna be recording this clip here for that level up, um, so that should be pretty cool. I mean, it's gonna be my second 99 on the account, nothing too great really, you know, it's not the hardest 99 to get. Slayer was much more of a, like a grind and like something I went for. 99 magic just sort of happened over time with my slayer of course and uh, also with trying to gain money for my prayer to get up as well as doing zami boss for subjugation pieces and stuff so not the hugest um change to my account but before i even get it i'm now going to change my uh training from on magic to give me defense xp only so that's going to be nice going to start getting some defense levels again when i use magic so going to be pretty good to hopefully get up to 90 quite soon which will hopefully reduce my chance to be hit, obviously, and um, I'll have a lot more of the... I think I think level 90 unlocks all the armors that are currently in the game, so besides Dungeoneering, so that'll be nice as well. Uh, as far as my invention progress goes, really quick, before I do get the, the 99, I'm going to quickly go and show you guys. Um, I did uh, make myself a Hammertron and a Fishing Rod Omatic, just because... Um, I needed to do a, a little bit of smithing to get the parts I needed for the fishing rod omatic uh, For the swift components, you need to pretty much disassemble claws. So I smithed a bunch of mithril claws with these bars and disassembled those into getting myself the swift components, which was what I needed to make the fishing rod. So I'm probably going to go and get this fishing rod omatic to level 5 and then disassemble that. And that'll get me the ability to use the siphons, I believe, after that. So that'll be pretty sweet. I can then augment my other items, like my my chaotix, I guess. I'm not sure if you can even augment offhand, but my chaotic stuff, my staff of light, my chaotic staff, and um, from there I can just siphon those instead of uh, disassembling. Mm, so that will be very nice for my invention training. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I've done so far on there. I have spent quite a while disassembling stuff. I've disassembled a lot of Spear Terror Bird pouches. I had like 600 in my bank. I just disassembled all of those uh, for powerful components. And um, besides that, um, I disassembled a bunch of maple short bows. Unfortunately, I only have like 1,200 short bows, and I disassembled like 600 of those. But I did those for, I think, the subtle components. No, no, it was for these, the dexterous components, yeah. Um, I think those were for the hammer Tron as well. Um, so yeah, these are eventually all going to build up in my uh, materials sort of tab here. So that'll be nice. Um, it is kind of annoying having to go out of my way to get materials, which I have had to do so far. I also did purchase Slayer Gem, the ability to craft Slayer Gems, and I made 300 of them. I just went and bought 300 enchanted gems from the guy in Canifus and made them all into Slayer Rings, so those will be good to disassemble for some enhancing components for Augmenters, so I'm going to look forward to doing that. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get the 99. Uh, I think I am all set to go. I'm just going to make sure I quick chat it to my clan here. Um, no, no, that's not it. It is SM. No, it's not mining. I, do, I don't even know the button for it. I so rarely use quick chat. What is magic? J. SJ2. Okay, so let's do that and then hit continue. And SJ2. Done with that. 99 magic. Pretty sweet. Nice little skill mastery there. And we have the much, much nicer trim slayer cape. I highly prefer that to the regular cape. Um, I don't know why. I do have the regular cape keepsaked in my uh, tab here, so I can have an untrimmed version if I want it. So that is pretty sweet. Um, so that's not too bad. I just want to say thanks to McLean for granting me for that. Um, so yeah, my second 99 on the Hardcore Iron Man. Pretty sweet. Nice trim Slayer cape now. Definitely prefer that. It kind of looks weird right now to see it because I've had it untrimmed for quite a while. But as you can see, we have the Borrowed Power spell unlocked at the highest level of magic. Bunch of Dungeoneering stuff and then the Skill Mastery. So 
I am going to go and purchase the uh, cape in Yanel, and then we'll pretty much call it a video there. So, 299s now, very nice, pretty happy with it. My next 99, if I'm looking at my stats here, I don't really have one that I'm going for. Um, so it just sort of seems like in eventuality that I will get 99 constitution probably next. Um, but that depends on how much I do end up training my actual combat stats in the near future because I kind of plan on not really doing too much more of the Ganos. I don't really know if I want to do them that much more, but um, I kind of feel like I am want to liquidate my Slayer tab in the next video and just sell everything off. I haven't 100% decided, but I'm definitely leaning towards that. Uh, where is this? I think it's, oh no, it's this guy. Obviously he has the cape on. And there it is, we can buy the magic cape. I'm gonna buy two of them, uh, because I'm not gonna keepsake one of these, there's no real reason to. Uh, I quite like the magic cape emote, um, and the cape itself looks pretty decent as well. Um, I, I like the emote a lot better than the slayer cape. That looks hella weird. Probably because I'm on low detail settings, but whatever. Um, I just think that the um, the Slayer Cape emotes uh, is pretty terrible, but the cape itself, I I feel it looks pretty pretty sweet. Um, and you know, I just actually thought of this. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't really like wearing it as hooded, so I guess I'll keep the hoods in my bank. But I'm probably not going to wear the Magic Cape that much, so I'm just going to put the hoods on to save bank space. Because if you can tell down here, I am pretty damn low on bank space, and that is another reason that I kind of want to um, get rid of all of these items in here. Um, and this is actually a decent amount of prayer XP in here that I could just get. I got so many big bones from Ring of Wealth and you know, Eric Bones, Addy Dra I had an Addy Dragon task when I was getting my Slayer gem, or my Rings of Slaying unlocked, so. Yeah, definitely a lot of stuff in here that I could get rid of and um, Alk for a lot of money. Um, I don't know if it would or would not be enough for my 95 prayer. Uh, I'm assuming not, but you never know. I mean, 104 room plate bodies, and then all of these, that's a lot of money right there. 500 for one uh, visor, so that's like 10 visors every 5k, so 60 plus... So like 62 visors, I think. Is, is, is my math correct on that? Let me just quickly do the math. I'm probably wrong, to be honest. Uh, 30, so what's 31,000 divided by 500? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 62, I was right. Okay, so that is times 110K each. That's 7 mil right there, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this would be enough it'd certainly be a decent amount of money that's another uh that's another four mil in room plate bodies alone so th those two items are like 11 mil but i do need a lot of money for uh getting my prayer at heaven so i'm not sure if it would or would not be enough um other tabs i mean i have a lot of uh rune items in here as well as a bunch of these sta staffs which are worth a decent amount um other tabs. I don't really think there's anything else that's worth too much. Oh, I got one of these things, the uh, the shards that make the those weird capes. Um, I got one of those while I was doing my Slayer for the Slayer rings, which was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I don't think any other tabs really have any. I mean, these these are. I think these are like one point something mil each if I make them into the DFS, but. I can't do that yet. I think you need like 90 smithing or something like that. So that's a possible bit of money, but I kind of don't want to elk those just because they're kind of a cool trophy to have. Um, but regardless, uh, I will probably be doing that in the next video, just straight up alking my entire Slayer tab, pretty much everything that's worth alking in here. Um, and see what I am left with, as well as use up all of these bones that are in here um, and just get uh, get my prayer up as high as possible. And in the next episode, I really am going to be getting 95 prayer for sure, regardless of whether it's just by alchemist stuff or if I have to continue doing Ganos along with it. Uh, my seed stock is getting pretty decent in here because of Ganos, and um, 
they are going to be pretty decent for invention XP as well um, because they I, th I I'm not a hundred percent sure on this but I'm assuming if I augment my chaotic staff I won't actually have to repair it with coins um, but it will just cost divine charges um, I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works, but as far as I could tell when I was doing it on my main account, my Royal Crossbow was not degrading anymore. It was just using Divine Charge from my Charge Pack, so that would be definitely be beneficial to me, uh, mainly because I have a lot of energies in here, because I do a lot of divination. I, I did all my divination pretty much without doing cash. I've done like t maybe 10 caches on my account, just because I'm really lazy and I hate doing daily type things too often so yeah uh, that's why I have so many energies and I probably when I go for 99 divination I'll end up with a lot more but yeah that is 99 magic and that is going to be the video you guys I hope you all did enjoy it uh, again if I don't end up getting 99 uh, constitution next my next 99 will probably end up being a skilling one uh, Potentially div uh, dungeoneering if I just feel like going and banging that out. I mean, it really wouldn't take me that long to get these three levels. I've been 96 for the longest time. Um, but other than that, I mean, crafting and fishing are both big possibilities because those are nice AFK things I can do while I'm playing on my main account. Um, those are two big possibilities. Um, probably more leaning towards fishing just because I prefer that as a skill. And I can train invention while I um, am training fishing with the fishing rod omatic. Um, those are probably the two ones that I would definitely be going for. Wood cutting is one I want to try and start working on as well. Once I uh, I have just have to complete the deadliest catch quest, and then I can start uh, chopping teaks on Apatol, and that's a pretty good wood cutting method, and will get me a lot of teaks for construction. Um, but yeah. As far as those go, those are basically the three main skilling 99s that I probably would end up getting next. That sucks. And then if there is, of course, room crafting, which I plan on going back to quite soon, uh, just because I am 80 and I wanted to get that for the rune ethereal outfit. But, oh, lacquer as well. That is nice. Very nice. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to get that for the rune ethereal outfit. And unfortunately, I did not have uh, managed to get like a full outfit of any kind, which is kind of lame. I thought I would get one. I just I didn't know exactly how it worked, so um, yeah, I was not able to get a full outfit. So I am gonna just have to go back there and continue doing it until I get more of the fragments. So that's uh, kind of lame, but whatever. Um, and as far as my ports goes, just quick update: 35% until the next zone. Still going quite slow. I mean, it's ports. But I'm really looking forward to getting uh, some of these armors. Uh, I really hope I unlock the, um, or no, I, I not unlock. I, I just really hope I get some more forgotten scrolls. They seem to be so rare to even get the possibility of the uh, the mission, and then it always has the chance to fail, and you know, and so on. So, just really hoping that they end, I end up getting some more of those. And of course, I do need to get 90 smithing before I can make the. Tetsu, but I already have 90 crafting for the Death Lotus, and then 90 room crafting won't be that far away with the for the Sea Singer. So, yeah, that's basically it for this video. You guys are going to definitely be going for that 95 prayer goal hard in the next one, and then from there, you know, the sky is the limit. Pretty much, once I get 95 prayer, I kind of want to camp Zami God Wars until I get one of each piece of subjugation and um, that will be very nice and from there I am going to test on my main account first but I might try and go do God Wars Dungeon 2 if not then I'll probably just camp Zami a lot um, get some more subjugation pieces for invention as well as potentially get the pet drop which would be very nice and I will also get a ton of Lantadime seeds and Lantadimes themselves which will allow me to continue getting my herb lore up speaking of herb lore I might go and use all of these herbs um, and try and get my herb lore up to make some overloads for doing God Wars with as well because that would help me out a lot, especially at God Wars Dungeon 2. Um, so that's definitely on the horizon for me. Uh, I, I need to continue doing my Jack of Trades every day. I sometimes forget, but I am nearly 88 herb lore, which is really nice. Definitely going to be helping me out a lot. Um, 
the jack of trades and getting this up and then of course once I do get the gear required I can do Sliske's end game which will be amazing for giving me it'll give me 1.25 mil herbal XP which will be just insane um, and once I complete Sliske's end game I am going to be uh, going for the rest finishing off the rest of the quests and picking myself up the quest cape and um, that will be pretty cool. Not going to be getting the Master Quest Cape anytime soon because of the requirements are kind of crazy now because of the new boss that came out. Uh, you have to... I don't know where my dude is running right now, but... Oh, I don't know where it is in here. I honestly have no clue, but it's... Uh, you have to get... Yeah, the, you have to find and read the Promised Gift and the Praise Soul books from the next Angel of Death encounter, and I'm nowhere near ever even you know trying to do that so yeah not gonna happen anytime soon but hope you guys did enjoy this video like if you did subscribe if you guys see you guys in the next one where we'll be getting 95 prayer peace <laughs>